a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom, right. but his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half -block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that offense. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very... You ready? You ready? It's good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, but this venue will always have a special place. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Well, we talked about his reach and Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He blocks the punch. What a punch. Big kick lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. into his opponent's body with that body kick. Landed a good uppercut there. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, heavy kick to that lead leg. That'll leave a mark. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. It's the elbow there. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. Looking for that left hand, just missed. The Korean Superboy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Single collar tie there. Choice strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. 
And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. How good is that right hand? Straight right hand now just misses. Again, trying to set up that counter kick, but unable to find the target. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, huge body shot. Oh, he hurt him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Right hand punch from the clinch. That was the game. Nice strike. Five minutes in the books. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Second round underway. Big kick land. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. But that punch, no good. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Joy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses with a left hook there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Choi gets caught with that punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Man, look at him load up on that right. with that strike. Oh! Single collar tie now. Cadelia's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 
Oh, big left hook there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? And they separate. Double leg kicked out attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Straight right hand, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And both guys really throwing with authority. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Nice punch by Short. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the oh, swing. Miss gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts and he finally has secured one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Good punch land. Just out of range with the big right hand. Real nice body kick land. Straight right, he misses. Delia's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Lands flush with that right hand. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with that left hook. The elbow strike there by Gadil. Great punch. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Gedalia going for the body. Miss with that kick. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful kick. Just misses with the straight right. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. 
Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gadelli. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. A kick to the body by Gedalia. Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Chor. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop him. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to, it's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Gets the elbow up into the target. 20 seconds left. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've gotta be celebrating. They've gotta be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Straight right hand, no good. Nice punch there. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Oh, single collar tie here. So specifically that right side has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on He's that right out. side. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Short. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. What a point. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Joy gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Liver kick. Back and forth we go. Lands the right hand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big punch lands. And just misses with that big right hand. What a body kick. She has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Wigliot has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the career.